Hey everybody, this is Brad with InMotion Hosting, and welcome to another episode of InMotion Answers, where we find hosting questions online and do our best to answer them. <laughs> All right, so we're going back to Reddit, and this question is from Lindy Mad, and they said, do any of the VPS providers allow you to create a snapshot and either download or distribute it privately in some way? And in their scenario, they uh, fire up a new VPS with a Linux. They install uh, a bunch of stuff and uh, build out a configuration script, create a snapshot of that VPS, and then have the ability to share that snapshot with others. Starting off, let's take a look at what uh, what's in the comments. So Decimus5 said to check out DigitalOcean's API, and they also recommend checking out Ansible as well. So I found the documentation for DigitalOcean. How do I clone or make a copy of a droplet? And it does look like they have this functionality. Um, I did highlight in yellow at the bottom there where it says you cannot create a droplet with a smaller disk than the one you took the snapshot of. So it doesn't look like it's too flexible in some situations. So um, be sure to read the docs further for DigitalOcean. Um, they also recommended Ansible, and this video from uh, Linux Academy, I'm going to quote, uh, Ansible is an open source tool backed by Red Hat since 2015 that gives you the ability to control and configure multiple servers from one single location. So that may do the trick for you as well. Now I'll, I'll talk about Ansible a little bit more in the, in the video. I'm here to code suggests taking a look at AMI or something with Packer. So AMI is Amazon Machine Images. And uh, yeah, I found this tutorial at geeksforgeeks.org where they said basically, yeah, you, you configure your EC2 instance once, create an image of that, and then you can use that to uh, deploy to other servers. So if you're using Amazon, that may be an option for you. They also recommended Packer, uh, big and bold on their homepage, says build automated machine images. So back to YouTube. Uh, this video is from Cloudcasts. And uh, basically, yeah, they were saying that Packer allows us to spin up a server, install whatever we need to into it, configure it however we need to, then save that as an image we can use later. This image is going to be used to spin up servers within AWS quickly and easily using automated systems like auto scaling groups. So Packer does seem like another alternative. Now, I'm not one of the cool kids, but I do know the cool kids here at InMotion Hosting and uh, they use Ansible. Ansible works um, by basically running playbooks on the servers that you want to set up. And a playbook is like a, a list of tasks that you want to run. So for example, if you're setting up a LAMP stack, um, you know, you'll have a playbook that will automatically run and install Apache. Uh, not automatically run, but you'll run it and it'll automatically install Apache, MySQL, PHP, and so forth. So Ansible, uh, like I said earlier, it is uh, open source. And going back to the question, they were talking about, uh, you know, including a, a configure script. So it sounds like they were going to create their own configure script. But if you used Ansible, you'd use a, uh, you'd create a playbook. And if you're interested in more about how we uh, use Ansible at InMotion Hosting, check out InMotionHosting.com slash Ansible. You can learn a little bit more. And uh, if you want to try it for free, you could do that. So I hope this helps, and if you have any further questions, or anyone has any questions, just uh, drop us a line in the comments. We'll be more than happy to help. All right, thank you.